Hey, hey, crafters. It's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba, Canada. Catalog is coming to an end, which means I have a ton of designer series paper left um, and I need to do something with it. So for 5 Minute Friday, I am showing you how to do a little bit of an envelope jazz up. So I have a piece here. It is 5 by 11 16 and I know that's an odd measurement for me, but it needs to be just a hair smaller than our envelope so that it slides in easily. Um, and then it's seven inches tall. So what we're gonna do is actually, instead of grabbing our score tool, we're just going to take our envelope and fold it to create the score line. And then we're not going to bother um, adhering on the inside of the envelope. And the reason for that is that um, it's not gonna go anywhere when it's adhered on the flap. We are covering the glue. Um, so you will need to add a strip of glue to seal your envelope. Um, and then we're just gonna grab our scissors and cut along the shape of our envelope. You do wanna make sure that you completely cover it. And again, same as fussy cutting, it's easier to move the paper and to go with the shape of the paper than it is, sorry, concentrating, um, than it is to move the scissors and hope because this gives you a little bit, oh, went off the tracks a bit there. Um, it gives you a little bit more control and then you can just go in and gently refine. Um, you do wanna make sure that this is not going to add a whole ton of weight. Um, if you're in Canada, you want to make sure that it fits through the slot of doom. For our second one, we're doing an envelope flap cover. This piece I've got at uh, two and a quarter by five and three quarters. And for this one, I'm putting the adhesive on the flap because there will be a little bit of overage. Um, and you want to make sure that it's not going to... Sorry, lining up on the crease line. Um, you want to make sure that you're not going to stick it down to your work surface. And then again, same as... Oh, dimensional back. How did that happen? Um, same as the last one. You want to just give it a quick trim around the envelope. Now, this can be customized to whatever size envelope you're using. Um, or whatever shape envelope you're using. Just make sure that you measure first. Um, if you're putting it on the inside, you want it to be about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch or so smaller so that it slides in easily. Um, and there you go. So a quick little customization. And then with this one, you can either add tape um, or wet the adhesive. I like to use my water painters because I can't stand the taste of adhesive. But there's two really quick and easy ways to A, use up a ton of designer series paper um, and dress up your envelope so that it matches what's inside. Also, I have um, over on my website a class that I recently did, 15 videos um, on how to use up designer series paper with a ton of different tips, tricks, and ideas. I'll post the link for that down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. There might be a cat paw coming in. She's in the sunny spot. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you're notified every time there's a new video. See you soon.